Hello friends. In my today's video, I am going to tell you how the how to cut the letters using symmetric concept. So letters A to Z we can divide in three groups. The the first group is where you can see the line of symmetry is vertical. So here you can see that this is the vertical line of symmetry. So in letter A, M, T, U, V, W, Y, you can see that. a uh, vertical line of symmetry the second group is for horizontal line of symmetry you can observe in b c d e and k horizontal line of symmetry and the third group where you can see horizontal line of symmetry also and vertical line of symmetry also so this letters are h i o and x okay so let me start with the first one this is vertical line of symmetry so you need to take a strip okay uh, take a strip and fold it in a vertical uh, along the length okay and here 5 5 cm i have drawn here horizontal lines okay and now which letter a just imagine the half portion you need to make it here and a half portion will be at back so that when you will cut and open it you will get a complete letter a now i have drawn here this letter m only half portion of m similarly this letter t now u i have drawn only half portion on one side and this is v w and this is y okay again i am telling you symmetry is based upon the figure the letter we are writing if we will write y in this way we will get no line of symmetry in this y but for this y your line of symmetry will be one that is vertical line of symmetry so it depends the way we write the letter okay so this is the way you need to write down all the letters with the vertical line of symmetry now for horizontal line of symmetry so take another sheet of paper and now fold it along the width okay so half letter will be upside and half letter you will get at back so the first letter that i have written here is b then c this is your d e and the last one is k okay now the fourth one is your horizontal and vertical both the line of symmetry is there so take a one sheet of paper fold it along the length and again fold it along the width it means this square is in four folds and here i have drawn a letter h so when i'll cut it i'll get the complete one this i will cut it so that you will get the idea just cut the letter only one letter i am going to cut other is your work to cut and find out okay so just cut it open it you need to be little bit careful because paper is there so yeah so this is the way you are getting letter h okay same way this is letter o o is in four fold because we, we in a z o we can see the vertical line of symmetry and horizontal line of symmetry so again this is in four folds how to write letter x again this is in four fold vertical line of symmetry is also there horizontal line of symmetry is also there and letter i i is also we can see horizontal line of symmetry and vertical line of symmetry so this is the way we are supposed to just draw it now 
after drawing this what you are supposed to do just cut the single each part each letter and cut it so you will get such type of sheet you will get such letters and you can stick in paper so after opening that you will get letter a letter m t u v w y so this is the way you can stick it in your notebook and what is the best use again you can use this for your softboard decoration at home or uh, softboard decoration in school and at home for the birthday parties happy birthday your name mama papa whatever you want you can cut the symmetrical letters instead of purchasing from the market it's always better you can cut at home you can put some glitters and you can use it at home so basically my today's video was for teachers parents also so that you can guide your child to do this activity at home and teachers you can give marks for this you can ask them to cut the letters and stick it in the notebook you can give them assignment uh, just write your name with the paper cutting method and or write down happy birthday or happy new year so this is the way you can uh, make uh, this uh, what can we say this letters and whenever you require in school you can use that even your house name also you can cut with this so again this activity is very interesting and very helpful for the child till the child is in school till 12th standard you can use this activity to decorate your board thank you for watching today's video